we just can't work together with our commissioners. It's, we're just not on the same page. The Alcona County Veterans Affairs Office will continue to wait for a new office. Right now, they're working out of a 120 square foot room in the Alpena County building. It's a big concern when veterans come in for assistance and people in the hallway can hear their conversations. We have to have privacy. I mean, we're talking about veterans' medical conditions and everything. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure I don't want my, you know, you know, neighbors or friends knowing about my medical conditions without my consent. So here with no privacy, that's what's happening. A new office site was donated to the Veterans Affairs Office in June by the Downtown Development Authority. Everything seemed full speed ahead, but last week, county commissioners voted four to one that the location would be too hazardous based on an underground petroleum storage tank leak in 1983 and 1995. However, there was a survey done in 2003 by Compliance Incorporated, and in conclusion, they found, quote, no hazardous substance present in a quantity and manner that constitutes significant hazardous substance use at the property. Chairman of the Alcona County Board of Commissioners Adam Breggy says the commission felt it was too risky to use the site. Now frustration is growing amongst the veterans. Me personally, I haven't seen such disrespect for, from, to, towards our veterans since I came home from Vietnam in 1968. For the time being, the Veterans Affairs Office will remain in the county building. Right now, we're, we're going to continue working out of this room here, um, but, you know, we, we're still going to, you know, try to figure out if they're going to work with us. We're just trying to make things better for our veterans, and uh, it's, it's our time. We can do this. We're, we're ready to go, but we keep running into roadblocks by the commissioners. The county is currently looking at alternative locations for a new Perfect. office.